Diffusion is the net movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. Diffusion is driven by a gradient in chemical potential of the diffusing species. A gradient is the change in the value of a quantity e.g. concentration, pressure, or temperature with the change in another variable, usually distance. A change in concentration over a distance is called a concentration gradient, a change in pressure over a distance is called a pressure gradient, and a change in temperature over a distance is called a temperature gradient. The word diffusion derives from the Latin word, diffunere, which means, to spread way out. A distinguishing feature of diffusion is that it depends on particle random walk, and results in mixing or mass transport without requiring directed bulk motion. Bulk motion, or bulk flow, is the characteristic of advection. The term convection is used to describe the combination of both transport phenomena. <laughs> Diffusion versus bulk flow An example of a situation in which bulk motion and diffusion can be differentiated is the mechanism by which oxygen enters the body during external respiration known as breathing. The lungs are located in the thoracic cavity, which expands as the first step in external respiration. This expansion leads to an increase in volume of the alveoli in the lungs, which causes a decrease in pressure in the alveoli. This creates a pressure gradient between the air outside the body at relatively high pressure and the alveoli at relatively low pressure. The air moves down the pressure gradient through the airways of the lungs and into the alveoli until the pressure of the air and that in the alveoli are equal i.e. the movement of air by bulk flow stops once there is no longer a pressure gradient. The air arriving in the alveoli has a higher concentration of oxygen than the stale air in the alveoli. The increase in oxygen concentration creates a concentration gradient for oxygen between the air in the alveoli and the blood in the capillaries that surround the alveoli. Oxygen then moves by diffusion, down the concentration gradient, into the blood. The other consequence of the air arriving in alveoli is that the concentration of carbon dioxide in the alveoli decreases. This creates a concentration gradient for carbon dioxide to diffuse from the blood into the alveoli, as fresh air has a very low concentration of carbon dioxide compared to the blood in the body. The pumping action of the heart then transports the blood around the body. As the left ventricle of the heart contracts, the volume decreases, which increases the pressure in the ventricle. This creates a pressure gradient between the heart and the capillaries, and blood moves through blood vessels by bulk flow down the pressure gradient. As the thoracic cavity contracts during expiration, the volume of the alveoli decreases and creates a pressure gradient between the alveoli and the air outside the body, and air moves by bulk flow down the pressure gradient. <laughs> Diffusion in the context of different disciplines The concept of diffusion is widely used in physics, particle diffusion, chemistry, biology, sociology, economics, and finance diffusion of people, ideas and of price values. However, in each case, the object e.g., atom, idea, etc. that is undergoing diffusion is spreading out from a point or location at which there is a higher concentration of that object. There are two ways to introduce the notion of diffusion, either a phenomenological approach starting with fixed laws of diffusion and their mathematical consequences, or a physical and atomistic one, by considering the random walk of the diffusing particles. In the phenomenological approach, diffusion is the movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration without bulk motion. According to fixed laws, the diffusion flux is proportional to the negative gradient of concentrations. It goes from regions of higher concentration to regions of lower concentration. Sometime later, various generalizations of Fick's laws were developed in the frame of thermodynamics and non equilibrium thermodynamics. From the atomistic point of view, diffusion is considered as a result of the random walk of the diffusing particles. In molecular diffusion, the moving molecules are self propelled by thermal energy. Random walk of small particles in suspension in a fluid was discovered in 1827 by Robert Brown. The theory of the Brownian motion and the atomistic backgrounds of diffusion were developed by Albert Einstein. The concept of diffusion is typically applied to any subject matter involving random walks in ensembles of individuals. Biologists often use the terms, net movement or net diffusion. 
to describe the movement of ions or molecules by diffusion. For example, oxygen can diffuse through cell membranes so long as there is a higher concentration of oxygen outside the cell. However, because the movement of molecules is random, occasionally oxygen molecules move out of the cell against the concentration gradient. Because there are more oxygen molecules outside the cell, the probability that oxygen molecules will enter the cell is higher than the probability that oxygen molecules will leave the cell. Therefore, the net movement of oxygen molecules, the difference between the number of molecules either entering or leaving the cell, is into the cell. In other words, there is a net movement of oxygen molecules down the concentration gradient. History of diffusion in physics In the scope of time, diffusion in solids was used long before the theory of diffusion was created. For example, Pliny the Elder had previously described the cementation process, which produces steel from the element iron through carbon diffusion. Another example is well known for many centuries, the diffusion of colors of stained glass or earthenware and Chinese ceramics. In modern science, the first systematic experimental study of diffusion was performed by Thomas Graham. He studied diffusion in gases, and the main phenomenon was described by him in 1831–1833. Gases of different nature, when brought into contact, do not arrange themselves according to their density, the heaviest undermost, and the lighter uppermost, but they spontaneously diffuse, mutually and equally, through each other, and so remain in the intimate state of mixture for any length of time. The measurements of Graham contributed to James Clerk Maxwell deriving, in 1867, the coefficient of diffusion for CO2 in the air. The error rate is less than 5%. In 1855, Adolf Fick, the 26-year-old anatomy demonstrator from Zurich, proposed his law of diffusion. He used Graham's research, stating his goal as, "...the development of a fundamental law, for the operation of diffusion in a single element of space." He asserted a deep analogy between diffusion and conduction of heat or electricity, creating a formalism that is similar to Fourier's law for heat conduction 1822 and Ohm's law for electric current 1827. Robert Boyle demonstrated diffusion in solids in the 17th century by penetration of zinc into a copper coin. Nevertheless, diffusion in solids was not systematically studied until the second part of the 19th century. William Chandler Roberts Austin, the well-known British metallurgist and former assistant of Thomas Graham studied systematically solid-state diffusion on the example of gold in lead in 1896. My long connection with Graham's researches made it almost a duty to attempt to extend his work on liquid diffusion to metals." In 1858, Rudolf Clausius introduced the concept of the mean free path. In the same year, James Clerk Maxwell developed the first atomistic theory of transport processes in gases. The modern atomistic theory of diffusion and Brownian motion was developed by Albert Einstein, Marian Smolachowski and Jean-Baptiste Perrin. Ludwig Boltzmann, in the development of the atomistic backgrounds of the macroscopic transport processes, introduced the Boltzmann equation, which has served mathematics and physics with a source of transport process ideas and concerns for more than 140 years. In 1920 1921, George de Hevesy measured self diffusion using radioisotopes. He studied self diffusion of radioactive isotopes of lead in the liquid and solid lead. Yakov Frankel sometimes, Yaakov, Jacob Frankel proposed, and elaborated in 1926, the idea of diffusion in crystals through local defects vacancies and interstitial atoms. He concluded, the diffusion process in condensed matter is an ensemble of elementary jumps and quasi-chemical interactions of particles and defects. He introduced several mechanisms of diffusion and found rate constants from experimental data. Some time later, Carl Wagner and Walter H. Schottky developed Frankel's ideas about mechanisms of diffusion further. Presently, it is universally recognized that atomic defects are necessary to mediate diffusion in crystals. Henry Eyring, with co authors, applied his theory of absolute reaction rates to Frankel's quasi chemical model of diffusion. The analogy between reaction kinetics and diffusion leads to various nonlinear versions of Fick's law. Basic models of diffusion
Topic: <laughs> Diffusion flux. Each model of diffusion expresses the diffusion flux through concentrations, densities and their derivatives. Flux is a vector j display style math bf j the transfer of a physical quantity n display style n through a small area delta s display style delta s with normal new display style new per time delta t display style delta t is delta n equals j nu delta s delta t plus o delta s delta t Display style delta n equals math bf j nu delta s delta t plus o delta s delta t, where j nu display style math bf j nu is the inner product and o display style o c d o t s is the little o notation. If we use the notation of vector area delta s equals new delta s display style delta math bf s equals new delta s then delta n equals j delta s delta t plus o delta s delta t display style delta n equals math bf j delta math bf s delta t plus o delta math bf s delta t the dimension of the diffusion flux is flux equals quantity time area the diffusing physical quantity n display style n may be the number of particles, mass, energy, electric charge, or any other scalar extensive quantity. For its density n the diffusion equation has the form n t equals minus j plus w Display style frac partial n partial t equals nabla c d o t math b f j plus w, where w display style w is intensity of any local source of this quantity, the rate of a chemical reaction, for example. For the diffusion equation, the no flux boundary conditions can be formulated as j x nu x equals 0 display style math bf j x nu x equals 0 on the boundary where nu display style nu is the normal to the boundary at point x display style x topic fix law and equations Fix first law the diffusion flux is proportional to the negative of the concentration gradient j equals minus d n j i equals minus d n x i Display style math bf j equals d nabla n j underscore i equals d frac partial n partial x underscore i. The corresponding diffusion equation, fix second law, is n x t t equals d n x t equals d delta n x t 
Display style frac partial n x t partial t equals nabla c d o t d nabla n x t equals d delta n x t, where delta display style delta is the Laplace operator. Delta n x t equals i two n X T X I two display style delta n x t equals sum underscore i frac partial caret two n x t partial x underscore i caret two. Topic on Sager's equations for multi-component diffusion and thermodiffusion. Fick's law describes diffusion of an admixture in a medium. The concentration of this admixture should be small and the gradient of this concentration should be also small. The driving force of diffusion in Fick's law is the antigradient of concentration minus n In 1931, Lars Onsager included the multi-component transport processes in the general context of linear non-equilibrium thermodynamics. For multi component transport j i equals j l i j x j display style math bf j underscore i equals sum underscore j l underscore i j x underscore j where j i Display style math bf j underscore i is the flux of the ith physical quantity component and x j display style x underscore j is the jth thermodynamic force. The thermodynamic forces for the transport processes were introduced by Onsager as the space gradients of the derivatives of the entropy density s. He used the term force in quotation marks or driving force x i equals grad s n n i display style x underscore i equals operator name grad frac partial s n partial n underscore i where n i display style n underscore i are the thermodynamic coordinates for the heat and mass transfer one can take n 0 equals u display style n underscore 0 equals u the density of internal energy and n i display style n underscore i is the concentration of the ith component the corresponding driving forces are the space vectors x 0 equals grad 1 t x i equals minus grad mu i t i greater than 0 Display style x underscore zero equals operator name grad frac one t x underscore i equals operator name grad frac mu underscore i t i greater than zero because d s equals one t d u minus i one mu i T D N I Display style Mathem D S equals FRAC one T Mathem D U sum underscore I G E Q one FRAC mu underscore I T erm D N underscore I where T is the absolute temperature and mu I Display style mu underscore I is the chemical potential of the ith component. 
It should be stressed that the separate diffusion equations describe the mixing or mass transport without bulk motion. Therefore, the terms with variation of the total pressure are neglected. It is possible for diffusion of small admixtures and for small gradients. For the linear Onsager equations, we must take the thermodynamic forces in the linear approximation near equilibrium x i equals k 0 2 s n n i n k n equals n grad n k display style x underscore i equals sum underscore k g e q zero left frac partial caret two s n partial n underscore i partial n underscore k right underscore n equals n caret asterisk operator name grad n underscore k where the derivatives of s are calculated at equilibrium and asterisk the matrix of the kinetic coefficients l i j display style l underscore i j should be symmetric on Sager reciprocal relations and positive definite for the entropy growth. The transport equations are n i t equals minus d i v j i equals minus j 0 l i j div x j equals k 0 minus j 0 l i j 2 s n n j n k n equals n delta n k display style frac partial n underscore i partial t equals operator name div math bf j underscore i equals sum underscore j g e q zero l underscore i j operator name div x underscore j equals sum underscore k g e q zero left sum underscore j g e q zero l underscore i j left frac partial caret two s n partial n underscore j partial Partial and underscore k right underscore n equals n caret asterisk right delta and underscore k. Here, all the indexes i j k equals zero one two are related to the internal energy zero and various components. The expression in the square brackets is the matrix d i k display style d underscore ik of the diffusion i k greater than 0 thermodiffusion i greater than 0 k topic 0 or k greater than 0 i 0 and thermal conductivity i topic k 0 coefficients under isothermal conditions T equals constant. The relevant thermodynamic potential is the free energy or the free entropy. The thermodynamic driving forces for the isothermal diffusion are antigradients of chemical potentials minus 1 T mu J display style 1 T nabla mu underscore J and the matrix of diffusion coefficients is D I K equals one T J one L I J mu J N T N K N equals N 
Display style D underscore ik equals FRAC one T sum underscore J G E Q one L underscore I J left FRAC partial mu underscore J N T partial and underscore K right underscore N equals N carrot asterisk I K greater than zero there is intrinsic arbitrariness in the definition of the thermodynamic forces and kinetic coefficients because they are not measurable separately and only their combinations J L I J X J display style sum underscore J L underscore I J X underscore J can be measured. For example, in the original work of Onsager the thermodynamic forces include additional multiplier T, whereas in the course of theoretical physics this multiplier is omitted but the sign of the thermodynamic forces is opposite. All these changes are supplemented by the corresponding changes in the coefficients and do not affect the measurable quantities. <laughs> Nondiagonal diffusion must be nonlinear The formalism of linear irreversible thermodynamics on Sager generates the systems of linear diffusion equations in the form C I T equals J D I J delta C J Display style frac partial c underscore i partial t equals sum underscore j d underscore i j delta c underscore j. If the matrix of diffusion coefficients is diagonal, then this system of equations is just a collection of decoupled fixed equations for various components. Assume that diffusion is non-diagonal. For example, d twelve does not equal zero. Display style d underscore twelve n e q zero, and consider the state with c two equals equals c n equals zero. Display style c underscore two equals c d o t s equals c underscore n equals zero. At this state, c two t equals d twelve delta c one. Display style partial c underscore two partial t equals d underscore twelve delta c underscore one. If d12 delta c1 x 0 display style d underscore 12 delta c underscore 1 x at some points, then c2 x display style c underscore 2 x becomes negative at these points in a short time. Therefore, linear non-diagonal diffusion does not preserve positivity of concentrations. Non-diagonal equations of multi-component diffusion must be nonlinear. Topic. Einstein's mobility and Thiorel formula The Einstein relation kinetic theory connects the diffusion coefficient and the mobility the ratio of the particle's terminal drift velocity to an applied force d equals mu k b t display style d equals mu k underscore text b t where d is the diffusion constant, μ is the «mobility», kb is Boltzmann's constant, t is the absolute temperature. Below, to combine in the same formula the chemical potential μ and the mobility, we use for mobility the notation m m. The mobility—based approach was further applied by T. Thiorel. In 1935, he studied the diffusion of ions through a membrane. He formulated the essence of his approach in the formula The flux is equal to mobility times concentration times force per gram ion, this is the so-called Thiorel formula. The term, gram ion, gram particle, is used for a quantity of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of ions particles. The common modern term is mole. The force under isothermal conditions consists of two parts. Diffusion force caused by concentration gradient minus R T one N N equals minus R T lane N N EQ 
display style rt frac 1 n nabla n equals rt nabla lane n n caret text eq electrostatic force caused by electric potential gradient q phi display style q nabla var phi here R is the gas constant, T is the absolute temperature, N is the concentration. The equilibrium concentration is marked by a superscript. EQ. Q is the charge and phi is the electric potential. The simple but crucial difference between the Tiorel formula and the Onsager laws is the concentration factor in the Tiorel expression for the flux. In the Einstein Tiorel approach, if for the finite force the concentration tends to zero, then the flux also tends to zero, whereas the Onsager equations violate this simple and physically obvious rule. The general formulation of the Tiorel formula for non perfect systems under isothermal conditions is J equals M exp mu minus mu zero. R T minus mu plus external force per mole. Display style math BF J equals math frac M E X P left frac mu mu underscore zero R T right nabla mu plus text external force per mole, where mu is the chemical potential, mu zero is the standard value of the chemical potential. The expression a equals exp mu minus mu 0 r t display style a equals exp left frac mu mu underscore 0 r t right is the so called activity it measures the effective concentration of a species in a non ideal mixture in this notation, the Tiorel formula for the flux has a very simple form J equals M A minus mu plus external force per mole. Display style math BF J equals math frac M A nabla mu plus text external force per mole. The standard derivation of the activity includes a normalization factor and for small concentrations a equals n n plus o n n display style equals n n caret ominous plus o n n caret ominous where n display style n caret ominous is the standard concentration. Therefore, this formula for the flux describes the flux of the normalized dimensionless quantity n n display style n n caret ominous n n t equals m a mu minus external force per mole. Display style frac partial n n caret ominous partial t equals nabla c d o t math frac m a nabla mu text external force per mole. Topic: Tiorel formula for multi-component diffusion. The Tiorel formula with combination of Onsager's definition of the diffusion force gives J. I equals M I A I J L I J X J Display style Math BF J underscore I equals Math frac M underscore I A underscore I sum underscore J L underscore I J X underscore J where M I display style math frac m underscore i is the mobility of the ith component a i display style a underscore i is its activity l i j display style l underscore i j is the matrix of the coefficients x j 
display style x underscore j is the thermodynamic diffusion force x j equals minus mu j t display style x underscore j equals nabla frac mu underscore j t for the isothermal perfect systems x j equals minus r n j n j display style x underscore j equals r frac nabla and underscore j and underscore j therefore the einstein theorel approach gives the following multi component generalization of the fick's law for multi component diffusion n i t equals j d i j n i n j n j display style frac partial n underscore i partial t equals sum underscore j nabla c d o t left d underscore i j frac n underscore i n underscore j nabla n underscore j right where d i j display style d underscore i j is the matrix of coefficients. The chapman enskog formulas for diffusion in gases include exactly the same terms. Earlier, such terms were introduced in the Maxwell-Stefan diffusion equation. <laughs> Jumps on the surface and in solids Diffusion of reagents on the surface of a catalyst may play an important role in heterogeneous catalysis. The model of diffusion in the ideal monolayer is based on the jumps of the reagents on the nearest free places. This model was used for CO on PT oxidation under low gas pressure. The system includes several reagents A 1 A 2 A M Display style a underscore one a underscore two l dots a underscore m on the surface. Their surface concentrations are c one c two c m display style c underscore one c underscore two l dots c underscore m. The surface is a lattice of the adsorption places. Each Reagent molecule fills a place on the surface. Some of the places are free. The concentration of the free places is Z equals C zero. Display style Z equals C underscore zero. The sum of all C i display style C underscore i, including free places, is constant. The density of adsorption places b. The jump model gives for the diffusion flux of A i display style A underscore i i equals one n j i equals minus d i z c i minus c i z Display style math bf j underscore i equals d underscore i z nabla c underscore i c underscore i nabla z. The corresponding diffusion equation is c i t equals minus d i v j i equals d i z. Delta C I minus C I Delta Z Display style FRAC partial C underscore I partial T equals operator name DIV Math BF J underscore I equals D underscore I Z Delta C underscore I C underscore I Delta Z Due to the conservation law Z 
equals b minus i equals 1 n c i display style z equals b sum underscore i equals 1 caret n c underscore i and we have the system of m diffusion equations for one component we get fixed law and linear equations because b minus c c minus c b minus c equals b c display style bc nabla cc nabla bc equals b nabla c for two and more components the equations are nonlinear if all particles can exchange their positions with their closest neighbors then a simple generalization gives j i equals minus j d i j c j c i minus c i c j Display style math bf j underscore i equals sum underscore j d underscore i j c underscore j nabla c underscore i c underscore i nabla c underscore j c i t equals j d i j c j delta c I minus C I delta C J display style frac partial C underscore I partial T equals sum underscore J D underscore I J C underscore J delta C underscore I C underscore I delta C underscore J where D I J equals d j i 0 display style d underscore i j equals d underscore g g e q 0 is a symmetric matrix of coefficients that characterize the intensities of jumps the free places vacancies should be considered as special particles with concentration c 0 Display style c underscore zero. Various versions of these jump models are also suitable for simple diffusion mechanisms in solids. Topic: Diffusion in porous media. For diffusion in porous media, the basic equations are J equals minus d n M display style math bf j equals d nabla n caret m n t equals d delta n m display style frac partial n partial t equals d delta n caret m where d is the diffusion coefficient, n is the concentration, m greater than zero, usually m greater than one. The case m equals one corresponds to Fick's law. For diffusion of gases in porous media, this equation is the formalization of Darcy's law. The velocity of a gas in the porous media is v equals minus k mu p. Display style v equals frac k mu nabla p, where k is the permeability of the medium, mu is the viscosity, and p is the pressure. The flux J equals Nevada n four p n gamma. Display style p sim n caret gamma. Darcy's law gives the equation of diffusion in porous media with m equals gamma plus one. For underground water infiltration, the Boussinesq approximation gives the same equation with m equals 2. For plasma with the high level of radiation, the zeldovich riesser equation gives m greater than 4 for the heat transfer. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Diffusion in physics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Elementary theory of diffusion coefficient in gases. The diffusion coefficient d display style d is the coefficient in the Fick's first law. J equals minus d n x display style j equals d partial n partial x, where j is the diffusion flux, amount of substance per unit area per unit time, n for ideal mixtures is the concentration, x is the position length. Let us consider two gases with molecules of the same diameter d and mass m self -diffusion. In this case, the elementary mean free path theory of diffusion gives for the diffusion coefficient d equals 1 3 v t equals 2 3 k b 3 pi 3 m t 3 2 p d 2 display style d equals frac 1 3 lv underscore t equals frac 2 3 sqrt frac k underscore erm b caret 3 pi caret 3 m frac t caret 3 halves p d caret 2 where KB is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature, P is the pressure. Display style L is the mean free path, and Vermont is the mean thermal speed. Equals K B T two pi d two p v t equals eight K B T pi m display style l equals frac k underscore erm b t sqrt two pi d caret two p v underscore t equals sqrt frac eight k underscore erm b t pi m. We can see that the diffusion coefficient in the mean free path approximation grows with t as t three halves and decreases with p as one p. If we use for p the ideal gas law p equals rnt with the total concentration n, then we can see that for given concentration n the diffusion coefficient grows with t as t one half and for given temperature it decreases with the total concentration as 1, n. For two different gases, A and B, with molecular masses Ma, Mb and molecular diameters Da, Db, the mean free path estimate of the diffusion coefficient of A in B and B in A is d a B equals two three K B three Pi three one two M A plus one two M B four T three Two P D A plus D B two Display style D underscore erm A B equals FRAC two three SQRT FRAC K underscore erm B carrot three pi carrot three SQRT FRAC one two meters underscore erm a plus FRAC one two meters underscore erm B FRAC four T carrot three halves P D underscore erm a plus D underscore erm B carrot two The theory of diffusion in gases based on Boltzmann's equation In Boltzmann's kinetics of the mixture of gases, each gas has its own distribution function F I X C T where T is the time moment, X is position and C is velocity of molecule of the ith component of the mixture. 
Each component has its mean velocity c i x t equals 1 n i c c f x c t d c Display style c underscore i x t equals frac one and underscore i int underscore c c f x c t d c. If the velocities c i x t display style c underscore i x t do not coincide, then there exists diffusion. In the chapman enskog approximation, all the distribution functions are expressed through the densities of the conserved quantities individual concentrations of particles n i x t equals c f i x c t d c Display style n underscore i x t equals int underscore c f underscore i x c t d c particles per volume density of momentum i m i n i c i x t Display style sum underscore i m underscore i n underscore i c underscore i x t. Me is the ith particle mass. Density of kinetic energy. I n i m i c i two x t two plus C M I C I minus C I X T two two F I X C T D C Display style sum underscore i left and underscore i frac m underscore i c underscore i caret two x t two plus int underscore c frac m underscore i c underscore i c underscore i x t caret two two f underscore i x c t d c right. The kinetic temperature t and pressure p are defined in three d spaces. Three two K B T equals one N C M I C I minus C I X T two two F I X C T D C P equals K B N T Display style FRAC three two K underscore erm B T equals FRAC one N int underscore C FRAC M underscore I C underscore I C underscore I X T carrot two two F underscore I X C T D C quad P equals K underscore erm B N T where N equals I N I Display style n equals sum underscore i n underscore i is the total density. For two gases, the difference between velocities c one minus c two display style c underscore one c underscore two is given by the expression c one minus c Two equals minus n 
2 n 1 n 2 d 12 n 1 n plus n 1 n 2 m 2 minus m 1 p n m 1 n 1 plus m 2 n 2 p minus m 1 n 1 m 2 n 2 p m 1 n 1 plus m 2 n 2 f 1 minus f 2 plus k t 1 t t Display style c underscore one c underscore two equals frac n caret two n underscore one n underscore two d underscore twelve left nabla left frac n underscore one n right plus frac n underscore one n underscore two m underscore two m underscore one p n m underscore one n underscore one plus m underscore two n underscore two nabla p frac m underscore one n underscore one m underscore two N underscore two P M underscore one N underscore one plus M underscore two N underscore two F underscore one F underscore two plus K underscore T F R A C one T Nabla T right where F I display style F underscore I is the force applied to the molecules of the ITH component and K T Display style k underscore t is the thermodiffusion ratio. The coefficient d12 is positive. This is the diffusion coefficient. Four terms in the formula for C1C2 describe four main effects in the diffusion of gases. N 1 N display style nabla left frac n underscore 1 N right describes the flux of the first component from the areas with the high ratio n1 n to the areas with lower values of this ratio and analogously the flux of the second component from high n2 n to low n2 n because n2 n equals 1 n1 n n 1 n 2 m 2 minus m 1 n m 1 n 1 plus m 2 n 2 p Display style frac n underscore one n underscore two m underscore two m underscore one n m underscore one n underscore one plus m underscore two n underscore two nabla p describes the flux of the heavier molecules to the areas with higher pressure and the lighter molecules to the areas with lower pressure this is barodiffusion m 1 n 1 m 2 n 2 p m 1 n 1 plus m 2 n 2 f 1 minus f 2 Display style frac m underscore one n underscore one m underscore two n underscore two p m underscore one n underscore one plus m underscore two n underscore two f underscore one f underscore two Describes diffusion caused by the difference of the forces applied to molecules of different types. For example, in the Earth's gravitational field, the heavier molecules should go down, or in electric field the charged molecules should move, until this effect is not equilibrated by the sum of other terms. 
This effect should not be confused with barotiffusion caused by the pressure gradient K T 1 T T display style K underscore T frac 1 T nabla T describes thermodiffusion the diffusion flux caused by the temperature gradient all these effects are called diffusion because they describe the differences between velocities of different components in the mixture therefore these effects cannot be described as a bulk transport and differ from advection or convection in the first approximation d 12 equals 3 2 n d 1 plus d 2 2 k t m 1 plus m 2 2 pi m 1 m 2 1 2 Display style d underscore twelve equals frac three two n d underscore one plus d underscore two carrot two left frac k t m underscore one plus m underscore two two pi m underscore one m underscore two right carrot one half. For rigid spheres, d twelve equals three eight n a one new gamma 3 minus 2 new minus 1 k t m 1 plus m 2 2 pi m 1 m 2 1 2 2 k t kappa 12 2 nu minus 1 Display style d underscore twelve equals frac three eight nano amperes underscore one new gamma three frac two new minus one left frac k t m underscore one plus m underscore two two pi m underscore one m underscore two right carrot one half left frac two k t kappa underscore twelve right carrot frac two new minus one for repulsing force kappa 12 r minus new display style kappa underscore 12 r caret new the number a 1 new display style a underscore 1 new is defined by quadratures formulas 3.7 3.9 ch 10 of the classical chapman and cowling book we can see that the dependence on T for the rigid spheres is the same as for the simple mean free path theory but for the power repulsion laws the exponent is different. Dependence on a total concentration N for a given temperature has always the same character, 1, N. In applications to gas dynamics, the diffusion flux and the bulk flow should be joined in one system of transport equations. The bulk flow describes the mass transfer. Its velocity V is the mass average velocity. It is defined through the momentum density and the mass concentrations V equals I rho I C I rho Display style V equals FRAC sum underscore I rho underscore I C underscore I rho where rho I equals M I N I display style row underscore I equals M underscore I N underscore I is the mass concentration of the ith species Rho equals I Rho I display style Rho equals sum underscore I row underscore I is the mass density by definition, the diffusion velocity of the ith component is v i equals 
C I minus V display style V underscore I equals C underscore I V I row I V I equals zero display style sum underscore I row underscore I V underscore I equals zero the mass transfer of the ith component is described by the continuity equation rho i t plus rho i v plus rho i v i equals w i Display style frac partial row underscore i partial t plus nabla row underscore i v plus nabla row underscore i v underscore i equals w underscore i, where w i display style w underscore i is the net mass production rate in chemical reactions. I w i equals zero Display style sum underscore i w underscore i equals zero. In these equations, the term rho i v display style nabla rho underscore i v describes advection of the ith component, and the term rho i v i display style nabla rho underscore i v underscore i represents diffusion of this component. In 1948, Wendell H. Furry proposed to use the form of the diffusion rates found in kinetic theory as a framework for the new phenomenological approach to diffusion in gases. This approach was developed further by F. A. Williams and S. H. Lamb. For the diffusion velocities in multi-component gases N components, they used V I equals minus J equals 1 n d i j d j plus d i t lane t Display style v underscore i equals left sum underscore j equals one caret n d underscore i j math bf d underscore j plus d underscore i caret t nabla lane t right d j equals x j plus x j minus y j lane P plus G J display style math BF D underscore J equals nabla X underscore J plus X underscore J Y underscore J nabla lane P plus math BF G underscore J G J equals Rho P Y J K equals one N Y K F K minus F J Display style Math BF G underscore J equals FRAC row P left Y underscore J sum underscore K equals one carrot N Y underscore K F underscore K F underscore J right here d i j display style d underscore i j is the diffusion coefficient matrix d i t display style d underscore i caret t is the thermal diffusion coefficient f i display style f underscore i is the body force per unite mass acting on the ith species x i equals p i p display style x underscore i equals p underscore i p 
is the partial pressure fraction of the ith species and p i display style p underscore i is the partial pressure y i equals rho i rho display style y underscore i equals rho underscore i rho is the mass fraction of the ith species and i x i equals i y i equals 1 display style sum underscore i x underscore i equals sum underscore i y underscore i equals 1 topic diffusion of electrons in solids When the density of electrons in solids is not in equilibrium, diffusion of electrons occurs. For example, when a bias is applied to two ends of a chunk of semiconductor, or a light shines on one end see right figure, electron diffuse from high-density regions center to low-density regions two ends, forming a gradient of electron density. This process generates current, referred to as diffusion current. Diffusion current can also be described by Fick's first law J equals minus d n x display style j equals d partial n partial x where j is the diffusion current density amount of substance per unit area per unit time n for ideal mixtures is the electron density x is the position length topic diffusion in geophysics Analytical and numerical models that solve the diffusion equation for different initial and boundary conditions have been popular for studying a wide variety of changes to the Earth's surface. Diffusion has been used extensively in erosion studies of hillslope retreat, bluff erosion, fault scarp degradation, wave cut terrace, shoreline retreat, alluvial channel incision, coastal shelf retreat, and delta progradation. Although the Earth's surface is not literally diffusing in many of these cases, the process of diffusion effectively mimics the holistic changes that occur over decades to millennia. Diffusion models may also be used to solve inverse boundary value problems in which some information about the depositional environment is known from paleoenvironmental reconstruction and the diffusion equation is used to figure out the sediment influx and time series of landform changes. Random walk random motion. One common misconception is that individual atoms, ions or molecules move randomly, which they do not. In the animation on the right, the ion on in the left panel has a random motion, but this motion is not random as it is the result of collisions with other ions. As such, the movement of a single atom, ion, or molecule within a mixture just appears random when viewed in isolation. The movement of a substance within a mixture by random walk is governed by the kinetic energy within the system that can be affected by changes in concentration, pressure or temperature. Topic: <inaudible> Separation of diffusion from convection in gases. While Brownian motion of multi-molecular mesoscopic particles like pollen grains studied by Brown is observable under an optical microscope, molecular diffusion can only be probed in carefully controlled experimental conditions. Since Gram experiments, it is well known that avoiding of convection is necessary and this may be a non-trivial task. Under normal conditions, molecular diffusion dominates only on length scales between nanometer and millimeter. On larger length scales, transport in liquids and gases is normally due to another transport phenomenon, convection, and to study diffusion on the larger scale, special efforts are needed. Therefore, some often cited examples of diffusion are wrong. If cologne is sprayed in one place, it can soon be smelled in the entire room, but a simple calculation shows that this can't be due to diffusion. Convective motion persists in the room because of the temperature inhomogeneity. If ink is dropped in water, one usually observes an inhomogeneous evolution of the spatial distribution, which clearly indicates convection caused, in particular, by this dropping. In contrast, heat conduction through solid media is an everyday occurrence, e.g., a metal spoon partly immersed in a hot liquid. 
This explains why the diffusion of heat was explained mathematically before the diffusion of mass. Other types of diffusion Anisotropic diffusion, also known as the perona malik equation, enhances high gradients Anomalous diffusion, in porous medium Atomic diffusion, in solids Eddy diffusion, in coarse-grained description of turbulent flow Effusion of a gas through small holes Electronic diffusion, resulting in an electric current called the diffusion current Facilitated diffusion, present in some organisms Gaseous diffusion, used for isotope separation Heat equation, diffusion of thermal energy Eto diffusion, mathematization of Brownian motion, continuous stochastic process. Kinesis biology is an animal's non-directional movement activity in response to a stimulus. Knudsen diffusion of gas in long pores with frequent wall collisions Levy flights and walks Momentum diffusion X. The diffusion of the hydrodynamic velocity field Photon diffusion Plasma diffusion Random walk, model for diffusion Reverse diffusion, against the concentration gradient, in phase separation Rotational diffusion, random reorientations of molecules Surface diffusion, diffusion of adparticles on a surface Turbulent diffusion, transport of mass, heat, or momentum within a turbulent fluid See also